Hello guys, good morning. It's about 5.35 right now, we're up early. This is what I'm wearing. I changed my outfit from some other pants and we gotta go because we're going to another part of um, Poland today. Why is this not opening? Here somewhere, guys. Um, I think I might need a ticket though to like film inside. And I hope my battery doesn't die today because I don't have a spare. And I did charge it last night, but I don't have a spare. So hopefully I don't bug crazy amounts, but enough for you guys to see everything. But let's go. We had to put on this thing to hear better, apparently. And we're about to go in. It's getting cold, guys. <laughs> 64 meters deep so far. That's all salt, guys. So all these figures kind of tell you stories of what they used to do for like heat and stuff. So here it was like or like even water when they used to work nine hours a day. It's just so dark. These stairs are made of salt, guys. How crazy is that? So obviously before they didn't have these stairs, they had these stairs and they used to go up these bringing up salt. People have weddings here. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Just imagine having your wedding here, guys. <laughs> they still do them, which is crazy. no one in here and you guys could see everything a little better and that is water guys 110 meters deep guys I don't know how many feet that is but you guys can look it up <laughs> it's a lot of feet we walked down far <laughs> Of course now a little shop. People are going to the toilet breaks and stuff, getting some snacks. And then there's also a little shop down here. Different kinds of things. Look at all this stuff made of salt. And these bigger ones. Damn, I can't see anything, guys. Pizza. 
guys, are you ready for this? Look how high this goes. It's over 100 meters high. Look at that, that's crazy. And they do have an elevator here also. <laughs> So that's the end of the tour. It was like an hour and a half-ish. Now we're like free to stay here and we could like look around. There's another little shop here. I love all of these different like salt rocks. They're all like salt, honey rock salt, crystals of salt, colored compound of copper, um, pink rock salt, white rock salt, like this. These are just, these are cool. I like this kind of stuff. Blue rock salt. These are nice. Oh, look at this. This is from the salt mine. This is all from like the salt mine. It's crazy. Even all this stuff, like these were what some of the walls looked like. They looked smooth. Kind of cool. Laminated green salt. Main boulder deposit salt. Stained glass salt. It's cool. Oh, look at those. The salt on like the stairs. Secondary crystallization salts. Look how cool all that looks. All right, we're going up to some viewing terrace or something. I like the glow in the dark somehow. It's so cool how they glow in the dark. This is like a salt mine machine. Actual real, real ones now. They said eight horses used to work on these kinds of things. I don't even know like where the starting point is or where the ending point is, but it's crazy. Changed part of my outfit, guys. I now have on these shorts. And these I had like tailored the other day, but I just needed something that's gonna be a little cooler because I only had the long pants for the salt mine because it's really cold over there. So I only had that on for there. Now I got some shorts. We are in Kakuk now, just trying to get to like the center area right now. We like walk some stuff. There's like a lot of history here. Um, there's like a fountain there, but I don't know. I don't know where we're walking right now. Well, we were walking somewhere. My mom is going to cool down. You guys see her over there? <laughs> She's just chilling. <laughs> Alright guys, I got a chance to fly my drone for a little bit. I also found my batteries that I couldn't find yesterday. So that's good. No, I don't know where we are right now, but we are walking. We're going through this area, and I don't, I don't know what this really is, but uh, it's a whole bunch of like little shops, I guess, and you just walk through and you shop around. Of course, there's people in the water. I guess you're allowed to be in this water. If I did this in New York, I'd get like a ticket or something. That's crazy. I'm gonna throw a penny in there. Round number two, guys, with the drone complete. Um, well, actually, round number three, because round number two I forgot to hit record, so I wasn't even recording anything. Oh well, it's okay. It happens.
walking into like this super old church right now. I got a great photo from up top with the drone on this thing, um, of this thing rather. And we're gonna walk in and see how it looks inside. That guy is playing on like uh, shot glasses. Starbucks coffee guys, right in Poland. I don't think I've ever seen this here before, but I guess it's because it's we're in a big city right now. Just took a photo in this pretty street. I like how it curves at the top so you could like really see a lot. Just this, this is like a nice pretty street too, and I like that not many cars go through because not many cars can. These are like the rock kind of streets like we saw in Puerto Rico. And they're also thinner. I mean not as thin as Puerto Rico though. There's also a lot of tourists here, and I don't mean like Polish speaking tourists, like people are from all over speaking different languages. And I'm just like, where am I? Like, normally when I go to Poland, everyone's speaking Polish, and this is just kind of interesting that you can still travel, which I know you can, but it's just like, how do people get around? I don't know. These things are called tramvaya. Tramvai. To tramvai, yeah, then? Tramvai. 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 Oh, tramvai with like a W, but V in English, but there's just no V in the Polish language, so tramvai. These just like kind of like go on the street. Sometimes it's like right next to a car because you don't have like the dividing piece. They're very interesting. Oh, see, look, a car right next to it. It's so interesting to me. It's like a subway, but it's above ground, and it's interesting, and I don't understand. This is the Wawel Zamek. Oh my God, I'm saying Zamek. Oh, and in Polish, it's castle. So it's called Wawel Castle. Um, yeah, we're just like looking at it. I don't think we're going into this. And, oh, more horses! Look at the horses! Okay, I guess we're going up. This one is pretty. I don't think we're not going inside this one. I just, my legs are killing me and they're swollen today. It's not fun. This is, I'm on my third pair of shoes already. Look at this. Loving the gold detail right there. That looks amazing. This is cool, guys. This is apparently the dragon's den. It literally says dragon's den on that sign there. This is apparently where a dragon used to live. I don't know. It looks like Rapunzel would have lived up there or something. Oh my god, this is so hard to walk on, guys. So hard. This is a nice view. I wish I could follow my drone here, but we asked and they said no. Alright guys, we're going in. <laughs> so apparently this is where the dragon lived. Holy crap, this is so cool. Oh, these stairs are steep. I don't know what that guy's wearing. I'm also getting wet in here. All right. This thing is cool, guys. Very pretty. And then you can have cars come here and then these go down somehow. It's so cool. But I love all the greenery around it. Going back to the castle only because we didn't go to the other side. So we saw everything else and now we're going back to the castle, guys. I'm so tired of stairs. We're sitting at this restaurant like overlooking, I guess, like the castles and everything. We've got like a beautiful view and it's in the shade. So I'm liking this and it's also a Polish Italian menu. So you got like some Italian dishes, Italian here, Polish here. This is making me remind, this is reminding me of my babe because he's Italian. So babe, we got a Polish Italian mix right here. We're doing a tour now guys. We got onto one of these thingies. Um, so we're doing like this little tour and then they're gonna drop us off at a car later where we parked. So that's nice. I'm just so tired of walking. <laughs> 
prowadziła do tego. Centralny punkt tego placu, to pokazuje nam, jak wielki las wolnicy. Tu odbywały się uroczyste nabożeństwa, a o wystrój świątyni dbano niszczącym w środku. Kościół opasa 2,5 metrowy, 17 wieczny mur. A to kurde ten. Nie, nie, że ma. Jak to mówią, robota lubi górę. Albo inna wersja tego. Kiedyś najwspanialej wyposażona z kazimierskich synagog. Jak powstała w XVII wieku, wokół znajdowały się skromne, drewniane domki, które potęgowały jej rozmiary oraz wrażenie monumentalności. Z zewnątrz widzimy schody. To po której jedziemy, bo to ulica, która łączy ulicę Krakowską, tą, która prowadzi do tego, no, z ulicą Szerokich. Guys, look, they even have an acai bar here. O, właśnie. Że... Przejechać most na Wiśle. Ten sam, po którym szli życi w tym zjawiska Zimierza. This church looks like Disney, but it was built in 1905. Finally back home guys, it is like 9.41 right now. I am so tired, but I still have like so much to do. I haven't like uploaded a new video or anything and I need to like start uploading some Polish, uh, some vlogs from Poland. Um, I need to like input, import a whole bunch of like footage from today and I have my drone footage I wanted to put on my Insta story and I just have like so much to do and I need to like start separating stuff onto my external hard drive because all the photos today like and from my phone and from my mom's phone I don't even know how to get them off her phone because she doesn't have an iPhone so I don't even know how to get them off her phone yet and I just need to like start organizing everything because later on I'm just gonna get lost in everything if I don't do it now because I know me and I know that's gonna happen so oh, it's just so much work with photos and stuff too guys it really is yeah.